one of these and just get your opinion on it because you spent so much time there. But right now, I want to take a call that's been holding. Let's go to Al, Riverside, California. You're on with Alan Wall. How you doing, Chuck? Just fine. Hey, uh, I've got a question for your guest. I've asked this for a couple of other guys. There are three questions here. I'm going to hit them as fast as I can. Does your guest think that there is some kind of moral suasion that only falls on the United States as opposed to any other country to take immigrants? Uh, j just us, no, not Poland, not Mexico, all, only some kind of moral, mm -hmm. religious thing that only falls on us to take immigrants. I don't think it does. And two, does it strike him as funny as someone in the military that our soldiers are being wounded uh, uh, in, in South Korea, in the Balkans, and in Iraq for sovereignty for other countries, but we, we're reluctant to use our own troops on our own property? And I have one, one question after those two. Okay, go ahead, Alan. Yeah, uh, well, in regard to this, I'll start with the second question. I mean, it is ironic that we have, we've got troops guarding the border of Syria and Iraq, and uh, we won't guard our own border. I mean, that's just, it's just incredible when you look at it that way. Well, and I was talking to the soldiers in Arizona that got the uh, Purple Heart and, and the uh, Bronze Star because they, were, they had a uh, firefight stopping some people coming into Iraq from Syria. He was dragging his foot. I said, can I ask you about it? Is it classified? He said, no, and he told me about the skirmish. And I said, you know we're having our own borders transgressed. And he indicated he was vaguely aware of it. And I said, yeah. what is your home state? And he said, my home state is Arizona. So wow. here we have a guy from Arizona that's vaguely aware of illegal immigration that's a 1,000 miles away protecting somebody else's border. And my question is, what is wrong with this picture? There's a disconnect here someplace. Oh, yeah, it's a disconnect, but I think it's an intentional disconnect. I mean... You know, we could secure the border if, if the will existed, if, if our, of our leadership had the will to do it. They, they could have already done it. Well, it, it just seems to me uh, uh, that, that, you know, we, we have all this power. We're supposed to be one of the most uh, powerful countries in the world. We can project, we can destroy the Iraqi army in, in 13 days and do all this stuff. But when it comes to the sovereignty, which is what the essence of what makes up this or any other country, we can't seem to do it. Right. You know? Yeah, and, uh, it's, uh, and, and it, it, it's, uh, I've just never been able to understand that. Uh, final thing would be, well, if you can, just give your opinion. My opinion is that there's no moral, uh, ethereal law that falls only on the United States to take immigrants. And if there were, we've more than, more than well satisfied it. See, I'd, oh, I'd, I'd just like I us mean, being guilt-tripped. Yeah, and, and uh, if you look at American history, uh, despite a lot of rhetoric to the contrary, uh, for many long periods of American history, we had a very low immigration rate. Well, after World War II, it was almost nil, and before, after World War I as well, and right. yet there's no reference to history. None of these foreign laws, where, you know, our own people get put in jail in Iran uh, if they cross the border, and yet we're supposed to give soup to nuts to other people that transgress our borders. There's no reciprocity to any of this. Right. Yeah, and, and really, we shouldn't, uh, right, we've got 15 million people out of work now. It, it really makes no sense to even have Legal immigration right now. Yeah, no. Well, my, my visas, final no point legal, is, I, I think yeah. that I think Obama's first is the sovereignty of his country, and everything else trails out behind it. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you, hey, thank you, thank you, Al. You know, and uh, I'll tell you something, Alan. Uh, it surprised me, really, and I'm not just you know shooting the bull here, but it surprised me that Obama wasn't bowing down uh, to the president of Mexico. Right, like he did. He's done to other heads uh -huh. of state. I just uh, I can't quite. Uh, maybe he did it before, and I, you know it was like okay, now I don't have to do it again. I don't know, but uh, uh, it's I don't know. And in 1965, boy, that's when they opened the doors. And Mr. Teddy Kennedy in the 1965 said, "We need to bring them in from everywhere in the entire world," and we were right. already doing a million yeah. legally every year. But I think, like Al said, and I've said it too, you know, it's a guilt trip. we got to be the nice guys. Come on over here, you know, and, uh, and bring your customs and uh, anything else that tore up the country you were from. Bring it over here right. and shove it to us. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with Alan Wall, writer for VDARE.com, that toll-free number, 1-800-336-2225, 800-336-2225. Be right back. 